After a year that threw every economic indicator into turmoil, the Bank of Canada sees light at the end of the tunnel. The economy has has performed, has recovered uh, better than expected. The difference in tone between that and the federal budget unveiled this week is stark. The greater danger today is not to invest in a strong recovery from the COVID recession. So who's right? Well, they both are. We all want the same thing. We want a complete recovery. We want Canadians back to work. To do that, both the government and the central bank must play their part. The government helps by getting support to businesses and individuals. The Bank of Canada's job is to make sure the financial system is stable and borrowing costs remain low. So last March, the central bank slashed interest rates and started buying $4 billion in government debt every week. Today's announcement means it will slow but not stop that program. We've adjusted that down to $3 billion per week. That is still uh, an exceptional amount of stimulus. Because while the economy is doing better than expected, it's nowhere near normal yet. But we know what the path out of crisis looks like. As COVID cases drop, the economy reopens, businesses rehire, laid off workers start getting paychecks again, people start to spend. So far this year, even limited reopenings have shown a quick, strong recovery. That has given us more confidence that, you know, as bad as this, as, as tough as this third wave is going to be, uh, as we get through it, as the restrictions come off, the economy will bounce back quickly. Remember, the reopening he's referring to, that was extremely limited. And now, as we start to look at the prospect of a more broad-based lifting of restrictions this summer, the bank has revised its forecast, now expecting to see the economy boom like it hasn't in decades. Peter Armstrong, CBC News, Toronto.